Hot summers, high light intensities, and long days provide ideal conditions to produce high quality apples in Washington State. But when the temperatures become too hot, apples can be sunburned, which makes them unmarketable. At many locations, sunburn is reduced by water application over the top of the orchard to facilitate evaporative cooling. Putting shade nets over the top of orchards is used to reduce sunburn in other apple growing regions of the world, but it is not as commonly used in North America. The goal of our project is to understand how overhead shade netting affects growth, fruit development, and quality of Honeycrisp apple, a very high value cultivar for North American growers. This is a three-year project funded by the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission and the USDA Specialty Crop Block Grant Program. The project team includes Lee Kalsitz, Stefano Mazaki, Desmond Lane, and Sara Serra, all from Washington State University, and also Tori Schmidt of the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission. Collaborators for this project include Sindhuja Sankaran and Lav Kot from WSU's Department of Biological Systems Engineering. The commercial research trial orchard that we are using is owned by our project industry partner, McDougall & Sons Fruit Company, based out of Wenatchee, Washington. The orchard was planted in 2013 with Honeycrisp on Bud 9 rootstock planted to a V trellis. Overhead netting was installed at the start of the 2015 season using three different colors of net, including pearl, red, or blue, and these are compared to a control treatment with no net over the top of the trees. In 2015 and 2016, netting was deployed immediately after pollination, and then it was retracted in the beginning of November before snowfall. By retracting the net at this time, the lifespan of the material can be extended. We installed in the orchard a series of sensor networks to monitor the environmental conditions above the trees, within the tree canopy, and at two soil depths. Near harvest, on a very hot day, fruit surface and leaf temperatures were measured using an infrared imaging camera. In 2015, the hottest year on record, the air temperature under the net was not different from the air temperature where an over overhead net was present. However, netting reduced wind speed by 40% and light intensity was reduced by about 20%. This 20% reduction in lighting translated to lower soil temperatures and increased soil moisture content. The netting also significantly reduced fruit surface temperature. The netting material doesn't just reduce the overall light intensity that reaches the orchard beneath it. It also scatters the light within the tree canopy and creates a better environment for fruit color development and more uniform fruit maturation. One significant difference between trees under the nets versus those in full sun exposure is that trees under netting are more robust with more vertical growth and more lateral branches. For Honeycrisp on the Bud 9 rootstock, it's this early growth that is critical to fill the canopy prior to fruiting trees in the third and fourth leaf. Netting enhanced tree vegetative growth in 2015 and 2016 compared to trees that were in the full sun. We want to understand why netting increases productivity. Giverson Mupambi, a postdoc working with us on the project, has been measuring photosynthesis and water status of the trees to determine the underlying reasons behind the increases in growth under nets. Ultimately, we are keenly interested in how netting affects overall orchard productivity. To do this, we are looking at fruit quality at harvest and after a period of cold storage. We are measuring traits including fruit size, color development, starch levels, soluble solids content, and the presence of post-harvest disorders. In 2015, we observed larger fruit under the netting and strong reductions in sunburn incidence from approximately 25% in full sun compared to only 5-8% to under the nets. Through the first two years of the project, we've seen the positive impacts that protective netting can have on the orchard environment, on tree growth, and productivity. Most importantly, we observed improvements in fruit quality through a reduction in sunburn. Another advantage of the netting is that it is designed to protect the trees from damage due to hail. Based on our preliminary observations, this technology seems especially well suited for modern, productive orchards in Washington that are planted to high-value cultivars.